Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> you could hear that. when there's not enough food. <laughs> we gotta get some food soon, Arthur. Food or money. Or these bastards will eat up. I know, Dutch. I'm trying. Damn, he's really bragging on me. Oh, okay. You are. Did you comment? You need to comment something so that I know you're here. Because otherwise, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I'm going to contribute right now. Okay, money. Increase amount. I can give them however much I want. I'm going to give them, like, a lot of money. Aren't you cold dressed in just that? You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. Uh, she's just telling me about how it's cold. And then... Mr. Morgan. That's funny. Can I ask you a favor? If, if it's convenient, I mean. Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? No, I would Season? not like to grab them. Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> okay. I'll see what I can do. Ugh. Can you hear me? Text me if you can hear me. Or comment if you can hear me. 
can you hear me? I just need you. Ow! Whoa, whoa! Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us, too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Song. Oh, right. I got a girl in Fairyville, can't be screwed right too damn so I don't go down there no more, this blue horse lives outside her door. I got a girl in Valentine, likes to drink that fancy wine, blue in her hat with two feet tall, cracking her pants, wait for it all. I got a girl Oh my lord. Where did you go? Look at that Koji! He's all over the place! Oh, shit, the horses! Ah, this is all right. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Easy, easy. Take it easy there. Easy there. That's it, Arthur. Let's go. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It, means you it got says a zero viewers. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse folk lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> That uncle. <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. If 
Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. Stairs always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes! We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. It's okay, I believe you. I saw your text. Incredible. For some reason, I can't see the comments, though. You got a problem? Here we are, just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? <laughs> Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you treat yourself to something? Hmm? Nice bar of chocolate always goes well with a slug of whiskey. Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Hey right, guys. Yeah. Good night. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I forget where the fresh fresh is. No, that wouldn't be. That would not be. I need a bar of chocolate. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Man, I know what. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. It just wanted me to buy a chocolate bar. Here's to your good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides <coughs> in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a dance. 
Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please! friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! One more. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just men. But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Oh, uh, everything's okay. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, where's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Johnny, go well, on. I definitely saw you go. with a bunch go. of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. Please. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. So, do you think I should save him or kill him? Text me. Don't uh, don't comment. Get back here right now. We need to talk, pal. I don't want no trouble. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. I can't uh, hold on much longer. I'll help him. All right, come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. No, I don't see your comments. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was a slave. I kill people. 
And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. <sighs> Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. All right, girl. Yep. Anyways. I went the wrong way. Howdy. How are you holding up? How you doing? Johnny. I'm doing something right now. Go on. Go. We got a wild one here. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Oh, Arthur. Arthur, come here. Come here. Come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just the toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is he's a, a pussy, pussy cat. cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, <laughs> and we have our answer. <laughs> oh. ah. Ah. You. Ah. 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 These bastards. Oh, come on. We can handle these fools. a good fight you should watch it come here you little greaser here it comes yeah you hit like a girl yeah bum kill you you son of a bitch <laughs> that'll do it arthur give javier a hand over there hey tough guy <laughs> Some too, huh? Come on. 
on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? What you scared of, huh? Yeah, you got him now. Show him how we do it now time. You okay there, Arthur? Yeah. yeah. I got this son of a bitch. Smash his face, Tommy! Tommy? <laughs> I hope you got more than that. Right. I'll send this before, didn't I? Go on, Tommy! Tommy. Hey, come on, stop with that. Stop, stop, please, please, I beg you, stop. Come, sir, you won the fight already, surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business, <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Katie. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And say miss something. all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles, I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right, we ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, Be sure go get that your up. video Join is all the way live. Right. What about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Oh, I just killed my horse and got negative on it, mother. Hey. Two.
Let's go, boy. Easy, whoa. Huh? Yeah. Up the slider. Okay. okay. Yeah. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go get some modifications for my gun. Well, new marksman in town. Welcome. Now, let me just look in here. Eh, never mind. Worth a shot. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? I make it all gold. I'm a rich motherfucker. I don't even need to buy ammo, I have unlimited. All the All trouble right. in Valentine. Better luck next visit. Howdy, partner.
teleporting to the point. Babe, what kind of store did I just walk out of? everywhere mm -hmm. hey. mm. where is that little Irish pest I'm not quite sure Trelawney's off trying to find out has anyone been in the black water see how things lie places crawling with Pinkertons bounty hunters and, uh, pictures of Dutch and Hosea uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town and that's where it's gonna remain for now why haven't they hanged Sean I wonder I think he's bait well, they want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. I mm -hmm. scale things, boys. Yeah. I'm moving um, to a camp nearby before What kind of store did I walk out of? Like so, five minutes yes. ago. I bet you can't name it. We need to stop them before they get to camp. How did I fucking Charles, know? why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah. Nah, oh, oh you, you, ooh, uh-uh. You freaking you know, went backwards uh, in the video. The government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well... We'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Okay, boy. Let's go. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother they're saying Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. And no money yet, it seems. I hope you know where that is, at least. Dutch and Hosea say they do, but it's trapped in the town. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Not a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed.
Hey, they've pulled into shore. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. It's okay. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. After I finish this mission, I'll stop and then I'll go to bed. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Quietly, if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you, you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen, gentlemen, excuse me, dear brothers, my wife is taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You she take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't, I can't, I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Come on! We need to get past these sons of bitches! Vamos! Camp's up this way. Come on.
Still time. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. A young Javier, whippersnapper. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Not supposed to be up there like that. Never comes when I need it. Yep. Oops.
God, I'm able to go through all this. Whoa, what? Oh, what? Are you serious right now? Yep. I found the edge.
madness. You good for nothing cheating bastard. I ain't hearing no more of this. I won that game fair and square. Your move. else wants some, huh? Sure, I'll shoot you. I wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to oh, it Lord. then. Come, look at let's this. Go. Yeah. Come on. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Holy shit. Let me get through. Can I get a few of oh, Don't do this. Uh, of course. Whoa there. Will somebody help me out? Hand over I was money, in the Mr. army. Fine. Here. First. You're lucky you're still breathing. I mind my own affairs, and that's all. Get up. I'm gonna punch the first watch. Gotta hit harder than that. 
You're as good as buried, cocksucker! He's got something wrong in the head. Who's talking now? Huh? Damn it! Your fun friend. Now get out of here. Just who the hell I'm are you talking? Ah, uh, don't you start. Nobody I tells me where I can and can't go. There. And you ain't gonna be the first. They'll give anyone a badge these days, won't they? Just stop harassing me, will you? You wanna get shot, my friend? Right through the eyes? Or in the heart? What you think? You the local hard man, huh? That's it. I'll take you in by the neck if I have to. I've seen tougher schoolboys. Hey there, Aaron boy. Ain't much of a job for a grown man, is it? You must have been beaten bad as a kid. Ain't this fun? I mean, I'm enjoying myself. Are you? What are you looking at, boy? Ah! Okay, then. Get away from me! Thank you. 